All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Thursday night, which means it has been one week since the release of Coriolis, Cariolis. I think I'm just referring to him as Care or Carry from now on. But Cariolis has been in the game for one week, and this is going to be my post-launch recap or post-launch summary, whatever my thumbnail says. You know, it's my thoughts on the on the new hero one one week since his release. Okay, so. This, what you're seeing behind me is my streaming account. I only have really, 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 I only got a purple carry on here. So I got to show you some uh, pre-recorded footage of him on my main. Now, what are my initial impressions just off the cuff on Cariolis one week out? He's, he's good. He deals a lot of damage, like on an energy team in PVE content brief pve content he can out damage jaina at x30 at uh, lower evolution levels he is he is definitely a a massive atomic bomb of a cannon damage wise due to the fact that he does so much true damage that crits so he'll go right through defense whereas jane is just your typical damage healer she just does that much damage i love the fact that he doesn't have accuracy in his kit um, his kit is, is nice and simple and straightforward. He's easy to gear, right? Surge, Sun Signet. Some people have been testing Burst as well, but he does a lot of damage. In my testing, I found Surge was, was better. Uh, so he's really, really good that way. In PvP, okay. On PvP, he can allow your energy team to punch up against tanks. But I have found through further testing throughout the week, and you're going to see some of that footage here shortly, that against really, 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 really good tank teams, it's not it's not consistent. And I have a level four of the new prototype. Uh, even that, it is, and even running, you know, Purin and uh, Miranda, you know, Nord in PvP gear, Jaina in PvP gear. He, he doesn't do enough damage. He allows Wamagon to go into dragon form. And keep in mind, this is against high, high level Wamagons and tank teams. Um, I still lose a lot on him. Summoners, he seems to be able to take out summoners, no problem. You know, energy could beat summoners before Cariolis. They're even beating, they're just beating them better now. Uh, assassins, no. Uh, Vanguards, you're going to see um, the energy team up against some very 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 good vanguards and like i'm talking a maxed out Ares with proper gearing uh can't beat it they just can't nuke Ares down fast enough to kill him so the team while initially i said he was a pvp god he makes the energy team better and you can mix and match him you saw in my deep dive with him that you could put him with tanks or not with tanks with summoners to or not summoners i've although i've seen him in summoner team to help stop tanks i've seen him put into a hunter team to help stop tanks i have used him on my tank team to fight uh tank mirror matches so he does have some good plug and play viability the problem is is that he's not foolproof and in places like hell arena and summon arena i need the counter to be foolproof to use now i have limited testing um on katosian triangle because uh he i did not test on tuesday i did not record on tuesday nor did i record the opening battle for mirage space but he does make crimson rot easier which is nice because it was very annoying because even with nord jaina luke the way that the ad spawn is really frustrating you kind of have to control nord to keep him from going way off field Focusing on the main boss and then you know you're you kill the ass too fast Jaina runs up there and it, it doesn't go well He does make that uh, he makes crimson rot automatic for me, which I, I really enjoy that part cool Okay, so he's good in here. This is where he should perform really really well He does perform well in there and he does perform well in stage one or part one of the mirage space battle when you're going against the summoner team so PvE wise, he's he's good. PvP wise, he's good. Is he a god at Immortal Zero? No, no, he is not. So let's uh, come over here. Uh, let's look at some pre-recorded footage. It's gonna have music, so I'm gonna turn my music 
off on there. Okay. So I got sound. I just don't got music. Oh, no, I don't got sound either. Okay. So this is initially some PvP testing. And um, keep in mind that at, at my level, like, all, everyone on my friends list, they're all killers. Everyone is a killer. Now, this is a team with uh, Rebecca. This is a tank team with Rebecca. It's weird. I didn't... I don't know if I switch um, the gearing. Because right now, you see, I got the book. Uh, but I'm running, like, as if this would be run in a three three team combo. So I am running the Hela Horn, Horn of Healing because I, I like to save my revitalization crystal for my assassin team. So I'm trying, when you see this, it's like, this is the team I would use in a galactic arena, a hell arena, or a summit arena setting, not a 1v1 setting. So. So here, oh, there I, I did switch the gear. And let's see if this is a win uh, on the first one. Uh, Rebecca being in here makes it kind of not a real um, tank team, if I'm being honest. But you see, Nord Nord has to be run in a resident set pretty much if you want to keep him alive. And you want to run him as a frontliner, otherwise he's just going to die. And you see, I do got carry with the injection. And I'm trying to pause it. I'm trying to pause it because I want to show you guys the damage meter. Uh, and to do that, I gotta get rid of my head. So there you go. We're just gonna remove my head for the rest of this. You guys know what I look like. So you see, Carrie versus Jaina. Carrie uh, is doing way more. Jaina, my Jaina is immortal three. My Carrie is immortal zero, and he still gets the injection over uh, my Jaina. So um, yeah. So even at immortal zero, he's doing more damage, and he's bringing more to the team. But yeah, these two together are, are damaged monsters. Now, I, I was a little bit concerned on this fight because this this Zeta just kept ramping up her uh, her heal to full. Like, you see, I, I was taking the big hit. Carrie's trying to punch through that defense, but uh, Zeta was just not dying. So I think I finally get her this time. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, Carrie with his true damage and the fact that his true damage can crit, um, he's, a, he's a damage monster. I can't deny him that. So now, uh, sadly, Bad Juju switched his summoner team to a tank team. But this is a tank team with Rez and Purin. So this team should be arguably better. Although I do believe Purin's going to die here shortly. Uh, you see Purin did uh, stun my uh, carry. So carry wasn't able to go right away. As such, the tanks were able to do decent damage. And like I said earlier... As soon as Wamagon gets up close, uh, we're, you're not winning because Kiri and Jaina are squishy. So this tank team, the fact that it had that uh, Purin on it, Purin will stun the highest attack unit. And sh she stunned my carry that was in the back. Now you can manipulate, if you see a Purin, you can manipulate, I guess, your gear to make it so that she's stunning Re uh, Rex, or not Rex, uh, Nord, not him, but... Uh, for them, I'd say the majority of people aren't going to do that. They're just going to pick the team, load it up, and hit go. And you see, this was a loss, so it's not guaranteed. So now we're going up against Fearless. Fearless now. Shout out to Fearless. You see, it's only a 5.1 million team, but he has a maxed out uh, Ares built correctly, so tempered charge and uh, and uh, damage reduction, blessed set. Um. In initial testing, when I was going up against them, now you see I still have Nord and Resonant and Jaina and Resonant. But when I was initially testing, I don't know what he did. I don't know if he just beefed him up a little bit, but I was able to nuke his Ares down before his Ares really got rolling. Uh, and I tried it a few times, which you're going to see here. I could not do that here. I don't know what he did to make his team better, but it basically made it so that I can't kill Ares. You see, there's Ares' health pool. And I got him down close, but close was not enough. I got him down to like 10%, but as soon as Ares goes, he's going to kill your team. So yeah, I stopped Ares' initial charge, I do believe. Locked him down at the beginning, but didn't kill him. So I do, I, I, I think I try this again, because I was trying to wonder what went wrong. Now maybe, do I switch my gear? I think I switched, yeah, I switched, I tried, um, what is that, Solar Flare, my Solar Flare is maxed, because that's what I was originally trying against him, 
But I think I still lose. I'm pretty sure I still lose. So you see there's Ares. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And no, was not able to get him down in time. So now if I had my, say, like, say carry was more more higher levels than this, higher uh, evolution levels. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, all things considered, if I had my characters maxed, <coughs> yeah, maybe I could have killed him, but, you know, didn't kill him this time. So, be mindful. Well, be very mindful. Now, Mojo, this is a, a summoner team. You guys, sh this should be an easy win. My point is, be very mindful in PvP, and I am not as high on him in pvp as i was now summoners it's lights out it is absolutely game over like as soon as he saw that throw as soon as carries chucked his little trident there it was they all just died they all just disappeared now here's uh x relevant or rev relevant revent re i don't know whatever tank team and you see it's a tank team with purin again so i'm trying to see if i get stunned here no, I did not get stunned, and I don't know what the deal is with with uh, her team, but that team just melted uh, again. Let's let's go. I, I I don't know what the team was. Can't see the evolutions. This is a, your typical old school tank team with res in it. But you see, let's see how this goes. Like here's Wami. So watch Wami. The game is is nuke Wami, and we did not nuke Wami. Oh, now we did. Okay, so. If you don't nuke Wami, you're in for trouble. But you see, if you do, then it goes fairly smooth. Uh, and that's it for PvP. Okay, so so for PvP, uh, what I was alluding to was initially on my deep dive of him, I said he's a PvP god. And you're going to hear people say he's a PvP god. Yes, he makes the energy, energy team better in PvP. allows it to do more things. It allows it to counter more. But it is not foolproof what grade would i give him for pvp i'm still going to give him i'm going to give him an a minus uh, i'm not i can't give him an a plus given the fact that i can't do it automatic but that could just be a me thing not a you thing so uh you make your own judgments on him in pvp but as a one week out pvp grade um, i'm giving him an a minus I actually like to put him on my tank team, I think, more than putting him on an energy D team. Because I have a Vanguard team that can kill a summoner team. I don't need my energy to do that. But I can put my carry on a tank team to help stop uh, a mirror match tank team. Because it'll prevent the throw with those tanks, just as it will on any other tank team. And then it's tank versus tank. My tank, my, And then my tank will be in your back line. Yours won't be in mine. So... That's PvP, ladies and gentlemen. We already kind of discussed Katosian Triangle. You know, I can't show you Sincero Marsh, or not Sincero Marsh, Crimson Rot, but it's just better. So, this is Sincero Marsh. For those of you that are early, and you're still, if you don't have good, really good hunters, hunters will blast this thing down in seconds. Again, I'm going to remove my head here so you can see the damage meter. But... Yeah, energy in Sincero Marsh, even if you got him at a lower level evolution, I think he is going to just annihilate this for you because this dungeon is uh, the trick to doing X3 and X2 is true damage. And you see where in PvP, it was him and Jaina was just underneath him. In Sincero Marsh, it's, it's no contest. This is the carry show. He was tailor-made for this content. But even... You know, if you got an X30 uh, uh, Hyper Evolved Evolution Z or Immortal Zero Rebecca with, like, Prigor Moriyami, you can do this faster still with Hunters. But I'm just showing you that he is really, really good here. Um, he, you know, you, would you use him in the other ones? N no, you would just use Hunters. Again, can't do Crimson Rot. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at here, but you, yeah, Crimson Rot, I can't do it. I don't know why I was looking. I'm not going to use him there. Um, Soul Mine, you know, let's just let's just go look at him in Soul Mine. So, uh, and again, I'm queuing up. So I maybe should have changed this because these guys are now in PvP gear because that team was saved as a PV a PvP preset. But let's just see how they do. Given the gear they got. At least this way they... You know, Nord's dead already. I don't know why Nord died there. Let's go back a second. Looks like... 
Looks like they did enough damage to him in the first... Yeah, they killed him, like, one-tapped him there. Again, keep in mind that all of these uh, heroes are really, really... Are tuned really, really high for this content. But you see, look at look at the damage meter. It's the carry show. Now, also keep in mind that Jaina is in a PvP set, a resident set, whereas Carrie's in his full glory set. And then, you know, we're not killing these guys. That's two Hercules. Um, those two aren't going to take down a, 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 a double Hercules set. Okay, so this is story mode, I do believe. Yeah, this is story now. Uh, okay, so, yeah, yeah, assassins can do this. You know, energy normally wouldn't be able to do this. Do I switch? Yeah, okay. Now at least I'm switching and putting them in PvP sets. Let's see if I switch out the prototype too. I should. Yeah, okay, good, dude. Now this is something more closer to ideal for an energy team. If you're going to use them for story. You see, Nord is already dead again. <coughs> <coughs> You know, Nord's dead already, but look at Carrie's damage. Like, Immortal 1 Carrie, Immortal 3 Jaina, both of them in their ideal sets. And Carrie just... It's not its not even fair, the fact that he does that much more damage than Jaina. And that is, again, due to him being able to crit on and do true damage attacks. So, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting them to clear that so easy. So, now I'm putting... I, I moved Nord to a resonance set. Just because so that he didn't die off the beginning, so that he could at least get going. Which is sad, you know. But, you know, if you want to run Nord as your frontliner tank on an energy D team, you know, you might have to do that. You might have to put him in a resident set just to keep him from dying immediately. Like, he's still decent. You see, he's still doing good damage. Uh, but, yeah, Carry doing much, much more versus Jane and him. I think Carry is much more apt in a battle like this, whereas Jaina, if you're if you're in like an endless battle situation where you got mobs and mobs and like packs and packs and high density packed creatures, then yeah, uh, you see Jaina might might do better. But um, these two together, Jaina and Carrie together, are are impressive. I will give them that. And that's about it for the pre-recorded content. So uh, let's turn the music back on over here. Uh, I think that's about it. What we can probably wrap it up. I'm still, after all that, um, you know that doesn't change my 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 final thoughts on him. I'm giving him an A minus. He is not. He has come down a little bit from my day one initial impression. But I like to get those deep dive videos out to you guys day one because everybody's looking to figure out how to gear him. Where is he good? And I'm, I'm just scrambling to try to figure that all out and get it into a video and get you guys out that day one. It's really the after the first week, after like we put him through his paces, that we start to get an actual legitimate feel for where he is. Now, uh, again, going back to PvP-wise, keep in mind that the people I'm going up against, especially on my friends list, has a lot of people with maxed out teams. Um, I tr They lost to a hunter team. I didn't record that one, but I, they lost to a hunter team, which was sad. Uh, so in PvP, just beware. Just beware. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of having buyer's remorse for buying the prototype, but whatever. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my one-week post-release or post-launch summary or impression. Again, whatever I put in the thumbnail of Cariolis. Uh Good hero. Not OP. He's, he's good. He's I like that he's plug and play a little bit on other teams for PvP. And for PvE, he is also really, really good. Okay, I'm going to give... I would give him a higher grade for PvE. I'll give him an A plus for PvE. Right? Uh, but for, you know, after everything else is said and done, like, you know, PvP, I already got teams that I would use in PvP over an energy team. So, yeah. So... But I think if you put Arcadia on that team, if you have her, which I shouldn't even mention her name because it's kind of irrelevant to everyone else, uh, I think she would fit really, really well on an energy team and it would just look cool because the aesthetic would be cool. Uh, but that's that's way, 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 way down the line um, as it stands right now. Yeah, A-. minus. Tell me uh, in down in the comment section below what you guys, what grade you would give him as if you were grading a high school essay. Like, you know, F... F to A+. Plus. I'll even say A++. Plus plus. I'll grade it on an A++ plus plus scale. Tell me the grade that you give Cariolis, um, and tell me what you what you think of him. So give, give me a grade and your thoughts down in the comment section below. 
I'll appreciate that. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care. Cheers. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>